What's going on guys? Ballerfan85 back. Kevin right here. We're going to do another video. We've got a video. Um, <laughs> it's another one that you've got from someone's personal collection. It is. And it is an unbelievable belt. Uh, we have two different versions. Absolutely. And mint. Belt. Oh, it's a it's a great belt. We have two different versions. We're going to get it. We're, we're I'm going to get tongue tied first and foremost. We're going to get into it. We're going to we're going to compare and 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 go over the differences. There are some pretty big differences. It's two different versions of this title. Mm -hmm. So uh, with that being said, you gotta you want to go ahead and jump right on it. Um, this is a belt that I've wanted in my collection for God knows how as, long. As, as long as uh, I've known you. When I first got into belt collecting, or before I even got into belt collecting, and I'd go over his house and see his collection, I always gravitated toward the NWA Dome Globe Championship. Um, and many of you know personal reasons why uh, the belt was actually held by a family member of mine um, who since passed away, and it's always had a, a uh, sentimental value to me. But right after that belt, um, right a very close second to that belt, I've always wanted this title. And thankfully, to the much assist of Mr. Ryan Torgy, if you guys don't know who that is by now, he is the founder of Wrestling, Wrestling Memorabilia Club on Facebook. Great group to be in, great group to, uh, you know, go chat, buy, sell, see people's collections, and just really see how passionate people get about this and, and um, <clears throat> collections that go way beyond just belts. Um, Ryan actually just posted a video where his his obsession for wrestling has gotten to the point where he's collecting brisk iced tea bottles because it has the rocks picture on it. I mean that that's a level of commitment that uh that this, that's unmatched. This is a guy whose basement <clears throat> is my dream home all in one. It's the vault. It's the vault. It is the vault. Um, um it's it's amazing. He's got detox with so many builds. I, I, I don't even his, know where, where to begin. His setup is really, really, is really great. Really nice. And in his his group is one of the best groups out there. I call it probably the top. I've, I've got, in no particular order, my favorite groups on Facebook, and we, we've said it before. I've actually got several. Uh, I've, I've got more than three, I think. You've got Wrestling Memorabilia Club. You can get on there. You can talk about anything wrestling, anything memorabilia. Every day he has a, a different topic that mm -hmm. you can post pictures on. <clears throat> you've got Brothers of the Belt, which is completely belt related josh hammer runs that group and he is an unbelievable person he's got an unbelievable story and there are some great people in there you've got tnt belt trading where you can get a you you have the opportunity to get a belt for about 16 to 20 bucks in a raffle and who wouldn't want to get that i won one on it only cost me 32 dollars. i got my uk title i have yet to win you've got uh craig payne in <laughs> europe uh, europe's home for wrestling belts europe's home europe Europe's home for wrestling belts. If you're not in that, you need to be a part of it. It's it's overseas. It's a bunch of guys from Europe, but they let anybody in. Craig is really Craig has 150 something belts. Good lord! If you look, if you've ever seen the picture of from somebody's roof pointed down onto a line that had just nothing but belts, that's him. And I mean, he's got a massive uh, collection. Uh, also, you got Belt Mafia. You've got uh, Belt Talk. You've got you've got tons champion uh, champion Belt Brothers. You've got a ton of them, but the 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 main ones wrestling and being wrestling. Might even have a new one club. coming up. I hope so. We're uh we're in the we're we're in the beginning stage of stages of trying to figure that out. I'm but, um, completely tongue tied. Getting but, back on topic, uh, like I said, Ryan posted a video where he was looking to uh, sell this belt, super fair price. I, I cannot believe, um, I, I, and I hate to say this, how much of a nice guy he is. I stole this belt from Ryan. I really mm -hmm. did. Um. Me and Ryan, we talked. We had maybe a uh, two-hour conversation. We went back and forth, and uh, we never really discussed money because uh, right when he said what he's willing to let it go for, I didn't even try to haggle with him or bargain with him. Ryan's the type of guy that when he gets a belt, it goes in the display case and it stays there. He appreciates it. He doesn't play with it, slam it, drop it, uh, eat off of it, nothing like that. Um, so I knew I was getting a quality belt, <clears throat> but I didn't understand how much. I knew the quality of the belt. But I learned a lot about the quality of the character of who he really was as a person. Um, first off, this belt made it to me less than 48 hours after I sent the final payment. He went out of his way late at night, found the only post office that was open that late, sent it out uh, for two-day shipping at his own cost. He didn't charge me any extra for that. Um, 
And when the belt came to me, it wasn't just the belt. It was in the belt bag. It even had the little piece of foam mm -hmm. that sits over the plates inside the uh, belt bag. It wrapped up, real, really secured, um, and just a great, great buying experience from him. If he's ever trying to down, uh, download a belt or uh, sell a belt or anything like that, you can trust what this man says. You can take what he says and, and put it in the bank, okay? Because the man's honest. He's not trying to rip anybody off. He just, he, he, he eyes a new belt, and sometimes he lets a new belt or lets one of his old belts go. He even told me the day after I got it. He said, man, I'm already missing that belt. Well, Ryan, I'm not willing to sell it, but uh, I can assure you it's being appreciated. It's in a collection not as extensuous as yours and probably not as nice as yours, but, hey, I'm getting there. So that being said, we've been almost six minutes uh, rambling and talking and, and blowing smoke up places, um, which will deserve smoke, yeah. or vape in that case, uh, blowing vape up people's, you know. Uh, do you want to go ahead and break it out? We'll, uh, um, we'll show Yep, up. I'll go ahead and grab it, but uh, just one other thing. Not only did Ryan send me the belt, the belt bag, and all that other good stuff, he also sent me some pictures out of his personal collection of wrestlers holding the belt, so I thought that was really nice. Did he nice send you touch. a signed 8 by 10 no, they're not where's, signed. Where's the sign 8 by 10 No, no, no. Ryan has pictures of himself that he will send out. Ryan. Dude, hey. Where's the sign 8 by 10 Am I hey. not am I not good enough for you, Ryan? Huh? Am I am I not am you I not lost good cool enough? Points, man. You lost cool points. Mm. You got Fr back already. Friendship timeout, Ryan. Friendship timeout. But anyway, the break. getting into the belt. We have the legends Intercontinental Championship on a black strap in Good God, is this belt beautiful? I thought mine was 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 beautiful, but looking at this black, I, I had the toy. I had this toy growing up, the, the little foam toy. The IC title was always my favorite title. Um, I, I can't I, I can't explain why it was other than the belt always represented the workhorse. The belt it, it was such a unique design, whereas most of your belts are, are circular in in most cases. Mm -hmm. In the WWE, this this was you know layered, yeah, almost oval rectangular. Type. It was just, it was such a beautiful before, belt. Before we get into the actual review of it, number one person that's held this belt on black strap, go. Bret Hart. Bret Hart. See, mine's a toss up. Bret Hart and Razor Ramon. Yeah, well, both of them are great. See, I, mean, I, I can't. Bret Hart's done a lot of great things for this belt. I'm just I, a Bret Hart mark. I can't get out of the two IC titles hanging above the ring Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, Ladder Man. 10. Awesome. Awesome. I, I, Ryan, once again, I thank you for uh, adding this belt to my collection. Getting right into the review. You guys know how I feel about the big gold tips on the end. I love and, it. And here's here's something about this belt that I love. I'm sorry. Well, you, you go ahead. No, go it's, ahead. It's go one ahead. of my favorite parts. Anytime you get contrast in the snap box, uh, and especially actual simulated texturing, nugget texturing in there, that's a plus for me. Oh, yeah. Not only does it have that, it's stamped with the Legends logo in there. And just by speaking of contrast, see the Legends logo right there? You can still see it right there. Yeah, the light hits. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's 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 done very nicely. So going from the big old tip to the nuggeting, uh, tooling in the, ta in the snap box. I can't talk right now. Either. Yeah, I know. Uh, snaps are done really nice. The stamps in there. You have the Legends trademark plate right here. With a nice black border <laughs> around it, and also the, the does, it, does that not just jump out? It at does. You? It's it's such a, a beautiful the property plate. I always love the property plates. Getting into the side plates right here. Once again, you have the Legends logo all throughout it. Um, maybe it no just contrast. Maybe not. But <laughs> it's kind of like if it, there's ever a belt that didn't need it, it's this one. And I think you can see this better than you could on the Winged Eagle. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'm not really complaining about um, that. I love the the logo this way throughout mm -hmm. the entire thing. Getting into the center, you have, you know, your blue water. You have the black inlay for the Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. This center plate. I always loved how that always had heavyweight on there. It wasn't just the Intercontinental Champion. It was the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. This center plate is probably one of my favorite center plates yes. ever. And it, I think it will always be because... It was unique. I mean, I remember seeing even even Macho Man holding this all brassoed up because he completely stripped all the gold plating off of it because mm -hmm. he used brasso. It was still just an amazing, amazing mm -hmm. front plate. And I'm so glad that, that, that I get to see the Legends title. Uh, we got to see the we got to see the WWF version on the watch strap with Austin or mm -hmm. Byron Saxon. Um, if they would have had that, and I think the Master Series back then had four millimeter plates. I'd have loved to have seen that on this. 
you know, the WWF logo, it, it just makes you wish that they had this quality back then when they made replicas. Oh, yeah. Um, the side plates over here are the exact two side, pl side plates on the other side. You got your standard clamshell etching all the way around the plates. And then you, got, you have a really nice snap box over here with the legend stamped logo. Really deep tooling in the snap box. Uh, I really like this. I, I do like here. the snap box. I do. So we we have this one. You know what? The yeah. The and this shows you Ryan's. Just he takes it out of the bag. He puts it on display. Still got the stickers. It's even got the choking hazard part for the kids. None of it's falling off. This yeah. this it's is a, a great belt. Yeah, it's it's the best quality. It wasn't worn around in in Ryan's underwear or something. Running around with it. He put it I'm not, in the detail show. I'm not going to say how much I spent on the belt because that's between me and Ryan, but uh, I easily should have paid double. Mm -hmm. Easily. Now, we do have another version. Mm -hmm. This this will be the third time this belt's been in here, but I just wanted to show you kind of a, a difference between your Legends title and your 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 new title. And it's not just the logo. I mean, there's, there's a lot of difference. This is, of course, the network logo, Intercontinental title, on a white strap. But you can already tell the differences. One thing that I wish that that your Legends title had was that contrast. Because you see the trunks are black, mm -hmm. the, uh, the boots are black, you have the white and red. You know, maybe not white and see, and red. See, I was going to say logo. the same exact thing. I was just going to point out right here. Yeah, right there. There's a black background. That's the logo. I wish the background was black, much mm -hmm. like it is on the property plate. Now, the tooling on the, the strap right there is so much thicker. You can barely see it on the white strap. There is some texture in there, and there's actual there's an actual WWE Network logo right there. The bad thing is you can't see it, even without this this signature in the way. You can't. I'm I'm trying to put it. You can almost see it. Maybe there's a network logo in there, but that that tooling in the in the simulated <laughs> snap box is so shallow. You know, right here I cannot see it. I can't even see the the texturing right here. But Just can from, you see mine? I can see yours. <laughs> I can see yours. But I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh wait, I can't see it. <laughs> it's too small. Oh my god. Anyway, can we trade? No. I'm sorry. I, I do like this title. So you're going to get it. One thing I loved when when Cody Rhodes debuted the the classic IC bag. Now it was nugget textured. Uh, that one was, but it eventually went to this, and it looks just like the old school Intercontinental title. With the exception of, of course, the the network logo, but I I do like your legend style over there. Well, thank you. I mean, you, you have about everything right. That that looks like the old school intercontinental style. And and maybe if I put this on a black strap, I'd feel a little bit better about it. I do like the white strap. Uh, we've gotten to where I, I like the white strap too. We've gotten to where we've got <laughs> in our collection. We've got some different color straps now, and I am really. I do like some of the, the colored straps. See, I've got black, red, green, I've and got, blue. I've got black, red, white, and purple. And blue. And blue. What well, teal? Blue. Ooh, no, okay. backland. Oh, yeah, and blue. Okay, with a red blue. backland. Okay. So, it's kind of a toss-up. I don't know which one I'd get. If I, had, if, if I had money right now, I didn't have either one of these belts. I couldn't tell you... Uh, which one I think I would get. It would just depend on the mood I'm in. I do love that IC legend title though. That you're holding it right now just the way I remember people holding it back in the late eighties, early Across 90s. the chest. It is a such a I mean I'm I'm harkening back to Mr. Perfect to to one of the pictures Ryan sent me. Mm -hmm, to to Stone Cold to just anybody and everybody. It was a working it was it was a working man's title. Um I think we've We've hit this pretty good. You got anything you want to say about that other than, um, than you know just going off just, of what you said, if I if I didn't have either one of these belts and I had the money to buy one and I was dead set on the intercontinental title, um, if I was to pick one, uh, I'm right there with you. <clears throat> I do love this belt. And I love yours as well. Mm -hmm. I've I've never expressed anything but my appreciation for this title. Oh yeah. Um my problem and my, my problems are with both. One, I wish this had the contrast that that did with the black trunks, the black boots, the black up here, but at the same time, I will take this logo over that logo. Yeah. So I think the logo is what does it for me. But either way, you're not going to go wrong with either one of the belts. Ryan, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank um, you. Like I said, if he's ever <clears throat> popping up on your newsfeed trying to sell a belt, you you can be sure that you are going to get the quality of you know any shop, if not better. 
As a matter of fact, this is the fastest belt that's ever made it to me. Like I said, less than 48 hours after final payment was received, Ryan sent me this. Less than an hour after I sent the payment, he sent me a, a, a picture of the receipt where he dropped it off at the post office. Um, yeah, just a great buying experience from him. And look, it, it, like I can't say this enough. If, if he's ever selling a belt and you think it's a belt you want and you've got the money to get it, don't don't hesitate with, oh, he might rip me off. He's not going to. And if his group does not <laughs> pop up in your news feed, you need to go to like a wrestling member. Go join club. the group. It's over 3,000 strong right now. And again, it's it's between it's that, Brothers, get... TNT, and, and and the other ones, Europe, European Home for Belts and everything, you have some of the most passionate people about collection, collecting, uh, collection. wrestling, collection. belts, everything. Collection. 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 I'll, I'll go with it. Why not? Collection. You have some of the most passionate fans ever. And that's what we are. That's what, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're a passionate fan. Some more passionate than others, but go join these groups. I got a feeling most of you already are, but if, if, if you've taken anything from this other than the IC title is our favorite, one of our favorite titles, and that Legends title was amazing, uh, join the group. I'm so glad it's finally in my collection. Yeah. All right. Well, that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, and we've got another video or two to do, and we will catch you guys down the road.